Hey guys, it's Zach Ryan here. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to add blur to your background in OBS or remove the background for your video and have something back there instead of you don't wanna have your studio in the background. And I'm gonna show you the thorough process of how to set this on up. So let's get right into it. So the first thing I want you to do is go to the link in the description down below and you'll get this website right here, background removal and virtual camera green screen. And what we're gonna go is to the downloads icon right here. And then when you're in here, you actually get a few access to different things. But what we wanna download is actually the Windows 64 installer if you are on Windows. And for actually Mac, it'll actually be a macro universal. So that way you have Mac, you can use that. And then for Windows, use this. So we're for Windows, so we're gonna install this and then go into our downloads. Once our downloads, you'll see the background removal we just want to right click on that or not right click double click on it and then say run and then we just want to open this on up it might ask if you want to make sure like this is good to install then you just click yes to go advance but if not you can just click confirm and go install all of this anyways and what we're going to do is just click for the full process and once this is installed we can use it in obs now that we have the plugin installed what we want to do is add our actual device into obs and we want to actually have the blur background too so what we're going to do is go to plus icon on our sources Go to video capture devices and of course you can just add your webcam whether it be for you or a camera i'm using a camera the obs tail air bot and we're just going to add this like so now once you have this actually added into your obs what you do is right click go to filters and in filter effects you want to right click in here and add background removal so this is of course the plugin we just downloaded we're going to add this like so click ok and the first thing what you want to do if you want to actually use the actual uh background blur is actually drop all these down to zero and what we want to do is actually do the background removal uh for me i particularly like it at a four and what we want to do is mess with the depth a little bit later but once you have that enabled you want to focus that and close that so with that you can already see that the background blur is actually now in the working and looks pretty good right now i'd say it's pretty nice nothing too insane it's a little bit too rough though so if you actually want to smooth in and out you can actually go back to blur focus depth and you can just like mess with it a little bit you can adjust it however you like so for me i like cranking it up so that way it's a little bit more smooth and then of course if we want to mess with the depth of the blur you can if you actually want to mess with the actual like just how much of it it is you can do that so you can just mess with whatever you like so four right here is pretty good looks pretty nice and if we were to actually look at it again that looks significantly better compared to what it was originally with actually softening up the background. So this is one way of actually adding background blur to extra footage, which is pretty nice in itself. Now for the background removal, you can use the one in the plugin. However, it isn't particularly the best. So what I recommend you do is go to this website, which I'll link down below for Prism. And what we want to do is download Prism Lens for Windows. Of course, um, when a Mac is coming out later, because this is actually a new re install release. So we're just going to open this on up and our downloads go under downloads right here prism lens and we're just going to install this so you just want to install prism lens onto your computer and it will be its own separate app and of course prism lens is going to do something similar to background removal like the actual plugin does they're both going to do a little bit on your gpu or cpu depending on which one you would put it on i would recommend though just putting on your gpu because it's more likely want to take as much resources that way now they got prism lens installed what you want to see is actually got the camera here this is my actual camera and keep in mind though that if you are using obs it's going to preoccupy it unless your uh, camera does support multi output which I probably doesn't so what you can do you can do the background removal for this one you can see it's eh. now keep in mind like with this kind of thing you're never gonna get a perfect background removal because how it works is just kind of tracking your body and your face and there's limitations to that so like having a green screen is honestly better I will have a link to a green screen down below if you want to get a green screen set up but you can see it's pretty good now if you want to actually add your prism lens background into actually obs all you have to do is go into the video capture device go into your device you're already using and change it to prism lens one what's in, in prism lens one's gonna use default one which is of course the background removal and you're gonna actually see right here that like if you add an image to the background in obs it won't exactly work like you want to it actually has to be in the prism lens app which is kind of a small limitation of it which is kind of unfortunate so let's just add this image here for example here you can see like right above the sandwich you can see it's right there but if we drag it under the layer called the background removal it won't work so you actually have to add your own image under my image and you go in here you go to downloads you click here you click that image and you can click apply and you can see and now it works but it isn't like it's pretty good but it's nothing 
too insane so like if you want to use this just kind of a temporary thing until you get a green screen set up then yeah i will have a good green screen set up link down below if you do want to set that up for yourself but this works for the time being if you just need a temporarily a uh, temporary solution the good thing about this thing though is that if you want to use like some free setups in the background you have access to a few things so like you want to have like a little desk background you don't have like a really good background in your house you can use this and if you're not moving around too much looks pretty good but if you start like doing like a ton of stuff and do all this over the place you can see like some things start fading in and out which is eh you of course can also add the backgrounds too if you really want to however there really isn't like really much you can actually do to the background like you can ease in with it and that's about it but honestly it's not really worth it now if you want to move your blur around and actually blur codes and stuff like that for certain events and stuff like that i'm going to show you this plugin right here which is compensation blur this is actually a newer blur and the same process if you want to actually set it up you want to go to the downloads you go into downloads you want to click on the actual windows installer you want to click the zip and what we want to do is go into our downloads from earlier and then we just want to refresh this of course because it just installed and what we want to do is go to the zip file right click on it then when you right click you want to click extract all and once you extract it you'll be able to then open this file up and we'll click in install blur installer and we're just gonna say Are you sure you want to run this read more info run anyway it's safe don't worry and then when we're good with that we just want to install this the same process we do with any other obs plugin and then you just refresh obs and uh, reopen it now, once you install this plugin, what you want to do to actually add it in your actual OBS is to go under your video capture device like we did earlier. Filters and filters. You want to do composition and blur. You can see I already have it enabled, but we'll just add a new one for the time being, kind of just show you. And we're going to click add here. And you're going to see it's just going to do this basic thing for the background. And what we want to do is do actually for just like blocking images and stuff like that. We want to go under circle or rectangular, or you can add your own image if you want to for the time being. We'll just say rectangular. And you can see right here, it adds this little blur in the middle of our screen and then you want to actually go back up here into the actual edit in the filter you can move it to the x axis meaning to the side you can actually move it up and down and you can do whatever you want with it you can also change like the height and width of it making massive to the point where like it covers your entire screen if you really want to if you want to do that you can do that actually but uh yeah you can do whatever you want for this but if you want to just use it to block like a code maybe let's say we have a code over here let me actually just put my example here here's my here's my this is the code let's just say my hand is the code right or i should probably do my other hand we'll do my other hand for the code and we want to actually just make it so it blocks the code right you can do this drag it on down and then change the size of it however you want and that way it actually just blocks the code so that way we can actually just say oh my god there's there's something happening right here i don't want you guys seeing the code for uh, the for the uh member member only stuff or something like that or maybe for something special right or for like you're holding an event in among us and you don't want people seeing the code to join you you can do that so you can see right here it's blurring my hand but if i drag my hand out it's good right you see pretty cool right uh but yeah that's if you want to add like blur to certain parts of your screen you can do this with this plugin you can do a lot more with this however i've shown you a lot of plugins here today you can utilize all of them to your max if you really want to learn all of them well, that is just a few ways you can actually add blur to your actual stream for obs if you guys did find this video helpful here today then make sure to smash the like button and get subscribed so you don't miss some future tech content until then tech grant out